What Jessica is missing in the article is she's only talking about one side. I can't imagine why people would want to sign up for more financial stress. If rates go up, prices go up. If rates go down, prices go up. This is just the latest talk oh. track of the Crash Bros. <laughs> All righty, folks. It is official. The Fed broke housing. We brought you that first. But now I am seeing a growing trend of people highlighting that lower interest rates might actually cause prices to fall. So what I want to do here is first bring up an article from CNBC that highlights the tipping point that they've identified and then talk to my friends that we call the three amigo and just play with this logic a bit. Because if I look at this hard enough, I can see the argument. I am not saying I agree with it, but at least I can understand the logic. Matt, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing super good. Can't wait to see this article and what someone's high school paper had to say. <laughs> there you go. And Dion, how are you? <laughs> Howdy. I'm doing great. I'm, I'm actually curious. I mean, if there's an argument to it, I'm I'm yeah. open to hearing it. I don't. There's an argument to it. I can't believe you didn't come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Too many well, naps, first, D. Too many too naps. Many naps. <laughs> too many naps. So, again, as people know, with rates at over seven, now seven and a half, transactions are crashing, inventory, this, that, the other. We all know that. So the big question we have is what unlocks the move up buyer? I brainstormed with, I believe, the two of you probably six or nine months ago that I thought the rate was like four and a half, maybe five. We're going to bring up an article for, from CNBC right now. Let me bring it up and we'll see what they had to say. All righty, guys, you can see this. Mm -hmm. So we'll just stick at the top number. We won't go through the article. But the tipping point, again, according to this article, is 5.5%. So again, let's play this out. What they're saying is if mortgage rates fell from 7.5% to 5.5%, we would unlock the move-up buyer. They would dump their 3% mortgage. They would sign up for a 5.5% to get the nicer home, the extra bedroom, the newer home, whatever it is. So I think my opinion about 5.5% is well known. So I'll step back and ask you guys. Matt, you're on my screen. What do you think about 5.5%? Would you be selling your home? with a 3% mortgage to step into a five and a half? I think we just cracked the code by 69% of the people in paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, honest to God, like you're giving up two points, Mike, two points. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the appreciation of the asset, right? That they're leaving. So then they're getting into something. Admittedly, are they buying at the absolute tippy top of the market? Don't know. I, I can't tell you that. But are they buying closer to the top? Yeah, I think they probably are. I think they're buying closer to the top than they are to the down. Yeah. And then they're on top of that, they're still paying a pretty heavy rate. Now, the, the issue is, is that five and a half, right? We know that five and a half is lower than the than the average over the last 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, so we know that that's, that's low. Um, however, I think at the end of the day, I can't imagine why people would want to sign up for more financial stress. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, I just, I guess Does I'm just make sense that way. Me. Like stay conservative and stay at the two and a half or the three, you know, but again, that's why 69% of people, I mean, shockingly people make bad financial decisions. That's why 69% of them live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. It's, Even when it's, they make six figures. It doesn't make any sense to me why five and a half would be the number. But let's just pretend five and a half. So, Dion, what do you think? What do you think? Five and a half gets you okay, off the sidelines so, and trade up? Here's the contrarian view that Matt was waiting for. Now that I've seen the article, kind of get the point. Uh, the author, Jessica, put some thought into this because she's got half the picture. Right? Which is more than I think most people get. At 5.5% interest rate, uh, unlocks demand. We saw that at 6%. So at 5%, demand is unlocked. People will start buying. No question. Which means if they'll sell to move up and there was a void of nobody willing to buy because they, the move-in buyer was still at 7%, sure, prices might soften. But if we have all of this pent-up demand, which you could see the people who want to buy can't, so they're renting, rents are going up. Mm -hmm. You have the move-up buyer and you have the people who would move in behind them. Those lower rates would also increase the demand on the properties that they're selling. So lower rates, it's 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 weird. I can't make this 
clear enough to explain to people in person, so I'm pretty sure I'd never be able to do it in a video. If rates go up, prices go up. If rates go down, prices go up. But it's not that it's like an, on a pendulum or yeah. fulcrum where one lever raises or lowers the other. The, the other, it's when you unlock demand, prices go up. When you when you limit demand and you've limited supply so much, you have less transactions, higher prices. So if those, mm-hmm. if I think if we see five point five, the crash in transactions is over. Yeah. But, oh my goodness. Oh right. my god. But not price decline. I don't see it. So I saw half her picture. I don't see the other half. Yeah, but let's just play this out extreme. And let's just snap our fingers just because I want to I want to play the argument out kind of crazy, which is sometimes what I do. Let's just pretend mortgage rates went to one percent. Right? So now you now the move up buyers completely unlocked because now they're trading in a three and getting a one. Right? Sure. That's what I'm doing sure. here. So the argument is there would be so much supply hitting the market that it would force prices down. That's that's the logic. And again, as someone who bought, invested, and sold through the Great Recession, which took my market down 75%, th- what she's missing, and I think her name was Jessica, what Jessica's missing in the article is she's only talking about one side, for your point, Dion. At 1%, I have a fairly good confidence that supply would double or triple almost overnight. Yep. Because the move up buyer who has been constricted for two and a half years wants the extra house, wants the extra bedroom, wants this, wants that, would go, honey, list the house, let's go. So I agree. Supply would shoot through the roof. And more importantly, supply would shoot through the roof for the hardest hit part of our market today, which is first time or entry level. The question I have is would 1% mortgage rates drastically increase supply over and beyond what demand? Because again, 1% interest helps the seller and the purchaser. Correct. There's two things that are released on the demand side when interest rates drop. And most people right now watching this video are thinking, oh, if interest rates drop, I would buy. But that's the first half. Right. The first thing to die when interest rates went up was cash out refinances, home equity lines of credit. People just stopped. It was like 97% reduction in how many of those. Yeah, you're right. You right. Unleash, unleash all this capital, all this locked in, what people call equity, the ability to put debt on an existing asset becomes that's great. A great. That's a great so, point, Matt. How much, how much money would you and I go unlock at 1%? I would probably even do one. You guys would be able to oh find Oh my goodness. Literally, it's you. Eight figures. I swear, eight figures. Oh, yeah. uh, eight yeah, figures so, all day long. At one point, eight figures. Eight figures, yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. And that's the thing is I think you're you're heading down the right path, Mike, which is most importantly, it's not going to outstrip demand. It's not yeah, going to I want to I just want to I want to poke at that because yeah. I'm not sure in the short term. Short term being, let's call it 90 days. Mike, everybody that's been said no to for the last three years is a yes automatically. Oh, Every single right. person is a yes. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're all a yes. One yeah, percent, the, uh, yeah. they're all a yes. Even yeah. at crazy high prices. So we have empirical it, proof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened in 2020 when rates hit 3%? Yeah. Yeah. Way more demand than 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 assets available all right jessica you're wrong i don't get it i and again this is an <laughs> argument i'm hearing more i tried i tried to get there right because the only hope you have is supply in a short window dwarfs demand that's your hope right yeah. suddenly mom and dad list five houses go up on the same street and the and the demand is delayed for some reason you have starving lenders right now with a that's right literal uh, an electronic rolodex of yes here's all the the stack of no's i've gotten and as soon as rates tick down to to six they're calling them saying you should try again six is yeah i know six is the number we saw that 599 just unlocked all this the only thing that makes her idea plausible is 10 percent unemployment yeah and i want to talk about that because again 
it's not only 10% unemployment, it's 10% unemployment for a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like right away. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Not, yeah. Because again, some people call, oh, we're spiked to 10%. How's you? No, you need 10% and a year for this to all build up. So, yeah. But I tried. I don't see how lower rates, lower prices. If you see it and you have an argument, I'd love to see it in the comments. This is just the latest talk track of the Crash Bros. Dion, where can people find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. And Matt, where can people find you? Lumberjack Landlord, YouTube and Instagram. Lots of fun stuff going on Instagram recently. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Ciao.